Hello and welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the Ricochet device. And the Ricochet device is a Node FX device, so it reacts on MIDI nodes. And how you ca can create such a sound with a polysynth, a little bit delay and reverb like this. Let's get started. So this is the Ricochet device, normal device with on on with on off knob, <laughs> preset button, the name of the device, um, the remote controls and the modulators. And I open the help page, so we have a bigger view on the device. So the device is all about bouncing balls in a room, what the description says, treats nodes as bouncing balls in a room. And there we have this little thingy rotating all the time. And um, this is pointing to the direction with, with this end of the thingy. <laughs> so if I press a key, a ball comes out and that direction the thingy is pointing at. This ball is bouncing against the wall and every time, every time it bounces against the wall, something happens. In this case, um, it um, has a little punk sound. I throw two balls. As you can see, every time the, the balls are hitting each other, there's another sound, so another maybe, let's say, event. And every time um, balls um, are bouncing against each other, they send something like maybe you can call it like energy. So if they are bouncing against, against each other, I take other notes like this and a high note. I want to hit it. So the high note is giving some energy to the low note. Um, so, and this is with, with all notes. Every time they're hitting each other, they're giving some energy or like a note event. Um, with the whole device, you have different um, options here. The first option, oh, it's described the room rotation. No, it's not the room rotation, sorry. It's the room size, sites. So you have um, sites on this room and you can configure it like just three sites to eight sites. Then you have the room rotation where you can rotate the room regardless of the sites, for example. So you can rotate that. All of those options you can add to automation lane or modulate it with a modulator. Then this one is the room space, space spatialization. <laughs> and um, this option has two things. The, the balls at their position have on the X axis on the horizontal position, it's the panning position. So if the ball, if I put that on 100%, if you listen to, if the ball gets to the left side, it's on the left. If the ball gets to the right side, it's on the right. 
And there's another axis, the horizontal axis. No, the vertical axis, par uh, pardon me. And um, the, uh, the vertical axis can be mapped to the timbre of a sound. So I don't have a timbre at the moment, but there is a resender device, this expressions modulator, and there is the timbre. And with the polysound, I have two oscillators, and I map now the timbre to the mixer of the two oscillators. So I switch from slowly from the um, saw oscillator to the rectangle oscillator. Maybe take back a little bit um, resonance. And if I play a note now. Here, every time the ball goes in the vertical axis up, it starts to change to the rectangle oscillator that is pitched higher than the saw oscillator. But when it bounces against the wall, it changes back. And you notice when the, when the ball is falling down, there's another change in sound. And there you can see I changed the resonance here as well. Maybe I need another. The ball goes up and if it goes down, the resonance goes in the other direction of the temple. So this direction. And if it goes down, it goes in this direction. So there's another change in sound. So this is like bipolar uh, module. Okay. So the next options are here ball damping. And um, let me just switch off the specialization. The ball damping is taking away the energy such a ball has so it's not bouncing away from the wall. I configure the damping a little bit more down. Less energy is taken from the ball when, when the collision is happening. And with no damping There, there is always the same speed. So let's take the damping a little bit back. So there's a ball radius, and the ball radius is just the size of the ball. So if you have small balls, a, coll a collision is uh, not so likely as if you increase the radius or the size of the ball. So it's more likely that this ball hits other balls or bounces against other balls. So, and the ball speed is a little bit a mixture of velocity and this uh, speed configuration. So if I, maybe like 100%, it's very fast. And maybe <laughs> take back the dumping. And maybe make the big. And you can hear it's it's like um, getting louder and and quieter. That's because the those balls are bouncing against each other and the wall. It has something like a broken arpeggiator. <laughs> a very nice sound. Okay. Okay, and at the bottom of the device, there is um, the randomize, the dice device. So um, you see the middle thingy is disappearing. And now if you um, press a key, 
the ball will come out in a random direction. Wait, the uh, have to. The next option is on the bar, so um, it is um, it is dependent on which uh, position of the bar um, Bitwig is at that moment. So at the beginning of the bar, the this device or this direction is on on uh, uh, zero degree. So maybe. And play this one and go back to the help page. So it's on bar, and if I play and stop and play, it resets. So every time here. and go down with the speed so you see the where the position marker is this thing is rotating it starts with zero going to 90 degree 180 degree 260 degree and 360 degree so and the last one is a manual setting so you can set your direction here and it's from minus 100 minus 360 degrees to plus 360 degrees okay so you can modulate this or just um, conf configure it fix in in one direction so and there's another inspector parameter if you go down here open the inspector there it is sound on initial notes you can switch it on or off and this parameter tells you if you wait <laughs> this parameter tells you if you switch it off and um, you press a note then the note will uh, start to sound when it bounces the first time This was very slow. <laughs> okay. So that's that's everything about the Ricochet Ricochet Note FX device. Um it looks very simple, but the combination of all those um parameters um, make can make your sound very complex and very nice and very moving and in combination with other node fx device there is a hint let me know it was on the help page i think so um, with the inspector parameter there's a hint um, with uh, disabling the sound on initial nodes with node fx layers um, maybe you you try that and tell me uh, what you've done because I am very interested to know what you did with this device and yeah uh, let me know about that comment give me a thumb up if you like that and I hope I see you in the next video again stay healthy see you bye